Hi, I'm Paul Nafsker with InsectsForSale.com and I wanted to demonstrate to you how to use appendage relaxing fluid. A lot of people order uh, insects from me and the insects are dried or sometimes you may capture insects, kill them, and they dry out. <laughs> and they dry out. And then it becomes a dilemma to be able to pin them because they're, com they're very brittle. Here is a praying mantis who's extremely brittle. If I were to push on that, then the legs would break. And this is a problem because if I wanted to pin it, a lot of times you're going to, uh, you'll make it so that the legs break and stuff. And it's just more difficult to pin. In this case, I want to be able to put this into, inside of a insect envelope. And when I close the envelope, it'll break the, the legs. So this is where I use the insect appendage relaxing fluid. It's real simple to use comes with a little eyedropper and all you do is place the drops on the appendages at the joints anything that might be easy to snap off so I'm liberally applying it to the joint and I'm even applying it to the antenna because I don't want the antenna to break all right we've uh, waited about 15 minutes and now I'm going to show you what it's done as you can see it can move things fairly easily all the appendages will move just kind of work them a little bit you may hear them pop that's okay just slowly get them started so that they're moving a little And now I can handle it. I don't have to worry about it breaking. If I wanted to, I could put a pin right through it. Um, and it wouldn't break the appendages because they're no longer brittle. What I wanted to do was not pin it. I just wanted to be able to put it into this envelope and seal the envelope without this breaking because this is the type of envelope I store them in before I mount them. And that's how you use the appendage relaxing fluid. Cut. Cut.